the realm. Do you know what the realm is? It's the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies. A story we agree to tell each other over and over till we forget that it's a lie. What's up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back for another Game of Thrones and House of the Dragon video. In this video, we will be looking ahead at next week's episode. Unfortunately, the first season of House of the Dragon is almost over, but the episodes have gotten better and better as we head for its grand finale. I will be letting all of you know almost everything that will be happening in episode 9 of House of the Dragon. If you do not want to know what will happen in the next episode, I would highly recommend that you run away right now. Do not wait until I've already started to discuss what happens, I would go grab some running shoes right now and flee the scene. For those of you who say you are ride or die with me, let's jump right into the next episode because once again, it looks like we're about to be in for one hell of a ride. Now, there is something else I have to let all of you know before we start analyzing all of the new footage. As a self-proclaimed sneakerhead, it takes a lot for a shoe to impress me, but this sneaker company will change your life. I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, Vessi. A few months ago, we had a trip planned to go to New York City, and unfortunately, the forecast was showing thunderstorms nearly the entire time that we'd be there. So, I went on a hunt for a fashionable pair of shoes that would also be waterproof, and that's when I found Vessi. Not only are the shoes comfortable, breathable, and weatherproof, they're also affordable. My Vessis made my feet feel invincible against the New York puddles and saved my feet from wet, soggy socks. They are 100% waterproof and will leave your feet feeling dry even in the wettest of weather. No more heavy boots necessary. They are by far the most lightweight shoes I've ever had on my feet and so comfortable. It's like walking on clouds. Vessis are made from Dymatex, which is a dual climate knit material that keeps you cool in the summer and warm in the colder weather. Now, the best part for me is that they're lightweight and don't feel like they should be waterproof. It's like magic in fabric form. I mean, how can a shoe be fabric, lightweight, comfortable, and waterproof? You have to try these shoes for yourself. My Vessies have seen me through those New York City puddles, muddy hikes, grass cutting, and my everyday jogs, and they're still my go-to shoe by the door. I will definitely be buying more, and you should too. You won't regret it. All you have to do is go to Vessie.com slash Talking Thrones to check them out yourself, and use the code Talking Thrones, and you can receive $25 off each pair. Thanks again to Vessi for sponsoring today's video and for changing the shoe game. Alright, now let's look at HBO's new official video. The very first thing we see in HBO's official new video is the Iron Throne, right before we hear Serato say Viserys is dead. As you all know, in the latest episode of House of the Dragon, we saw Viserys Targaryen die during the final scene. After suffering from his illness for well over a decade, Viserys has unfortunately died. This will send shockwaves throughout Westeros as everyone will begin to fight over the Iron Throne and the line of succession. As Viserys was dying, his last words to his wife Alicent were about Aegon the Conqueror and his dream of a Song of Ice and Fire. This is something that House of the Dragon has been setting up from the very beginning. In the earlier episodes, we saw Viserys informing Rhaenyra about this dream. According to Viserys, Aegon had a dream about a threat that lies in the north beyond the wall. And as we all know, this is in regards to the Night King and the White Walkers. Aegon knew that one day the Night King and the White Walkers would invade Westeros, so Viserys was giving this information to Rhaenyra in hopes of her making sure they would be ready for whenever that day would arrive. This is a big reason why Viserys wanted Rhaenyra to get married and start having heirs of her own. Not only as a way of securing the Iron Throne, but also as a way of stopping this invasion from the far north. Well, as we saw in the last episode, Alicent thought Viserys was referring to their own son Aegon, not the one who was alive well over a hundred years ago. Now Alicent believes her husband's dying wish was to sit their son Aegon on the Iron Throne, and this is exactly what Alicent will intend to do in this next episode. We hear Alicent say Viserys wished for their son Aegon to be king. Little does she know, Viserys actually thought he was having a conversation with his daughter Rhaenyra about the same thing they had been discussing all season long. Now that Viserys is dead, we will see Alicent in search of her son Aegon to deliver this news, but Aegon will not be found in his own bed with his own wife. As you all know, this isn't anything new because in the last episode, we found out Aegon had been leaving his wife to go sleep with other women. In HBO's new video, we also hear Serato say, no one can know who you are or what you seek. He says this to one of the Cargill brothers who are members of the King's Guard. Serato has them go searching for Aegon in the back alleys of King's Landing. Obviously, he doesn't want the whole city to find out what Aegon has been up to, so he has them secretly looking for him all throughout the streets of the capital. That's why we see the Cargill brothers wearing different outfits in this scene as a way to hide who they really are. 
Obviously, if they were walking around in their shiny armor, it would be a big giveaway. In one of these shots, we see one of them running after Aegon's drunk ass in the street. Now, what's interesting is, we hear Lara Strong say, I found out something you should know, as they show a small boy who has the Targaryen white hair. I do wonder if this is one of Aegon's sons. We already know he has been sleeping around, and we already saw Alicent giving moon tea to a woman in their service. This makes me think Aegon might have already had a son by some random woman in Flea Bottom. It's kind of funny considering Alicent has been mad at Rhaenyra for the same thing. Now her own son might be out having bastards of his own. This is something they will want to keep on the down low. They also don't want everyone finding out Viserys is already dead. Normally, when something like this would happen, they would ring the bells in the city, but they will not be doing that here. At least not yet. Sir Otto will want to make sure they have King's Landing fully under their control before that happens. He's also going to want to make sure his allies are ready for battle because as soon as Rhaenyra finds out her father's dead, she's going to want that Iron Throne. This is why we also hear Sir Otto say, the door will remain shut until we finish our business. He will want the matter of succession handled now. If any of you've read Fire and Blood, then you will know that someone sitting on their small council will want Rhaenyra to ascend the Iron Throne, but Sir Otto doesn't want to wait for Rhaenyra to be there. In fact, he most likely doesn't want Rhaenyra alive. We can see Sir Criston Cole is ready to fight for the High Towers. If you look at the man standing in front of him, it looks like that's Sir Harold Westerling's white facial hair. He will not want to stand aside while Sir Otto and Alicent work behind everyone's back. This must be when Sir Harold Westerling leaves the service of the Kingsguard, which will then leave his spot open for Sir Criston Cole to become the new Lord Commander. As we all know, Sir Otto has wanted Aegon to ascend the Iron Throne for many, many episodes now, so Rhaenyra living on Dragonstone when all this happens works out in his favor. If she doesn't know her father is dead, and she doesn't know Aegon is already being crowned as the new king, this gives Sir Otto a major advantage over his enemy. Sir Otto, Alicent, Aegon, and everyone else there in favor of the Greens will be more than ready before Rhaenyra even knows what hit her. This next episode is really about to flip everything on its head. Westeros will never be the same again. Now, if you look at some of these other scenes, we see Sir Otto and Alicent have several characters locked away. First, we see Rhaenys grabbing at the doorknob while she's most likely in King's Landing. Now that Vaemon Valerion is dead, Sir Otto and Alicent may force Rhaenys to stand beside them while they fight Rhaenyra. They will definitely want the Sea Snake's fleet on their side. We also see one of Masaria's little birds being led into what looks like the Dungeons of the Red Keep. In the last episode, we saw her giving information to Masaria. As we all know, she has her little birds listening to everything all over that castle. And we also know Masaria has also given information to Sir Otto. She's the one who informed him of Rhaenyra and Daemon's relationship. Maybe Masaria has sold out one of her own little birds, or maybe Sir Otto has her locked up as a way to force information out of Masaria. It will be very interesting to see what's really happening in this scene. Now, if they do really want to find Aegon and Flea Bottom, Masaria would be the one who would have that knowledge. She knows the city better than anyone. Eventually, Aegon will be found, and we will most likely see his coronation in this next episode. Not only do we see the crown of Aegon the Conqueror, but we also see it sitting on a green pillow. This will be set on Aegon's head in the Dragon Pit of King's Landing, and it looks like all of the small folk from the city will be there to watch Aegon's coronation while his sister wife Helena stands at his side. Now, you must remember, Rhaenyra has no idea her father is dead while all of this is happening behind her back. It leaves her at a great disadvantage while her enemies secure the Iron Throne, as well as many allies for themselves. I don't know about all of you, but I will definitely be looking forward to her response once she does find out. She will have a lot of work to do if she ever wants to get the Iron Throne from the hands of her enemies. We will absolutely see the Dance of the Dragons officially begin before this season does come to an end, and I for one cannot wait. Get ready my friends because fire will rain. Let me know what all of you think down below. I'm very interested in hearing what you have to say. As always, I want to thank all of you for watching my video. I hope everyone has a great day. I'll see you soon in the next one. Bye.